what is your relationship to your dreams in general? Like, do you keep a dream journal mm -hmm. and... Oh, I keep a dream journal, for sure. Yes, I do. Um, I do keep a journal, but I don't always write in it. Um, I do. Mostly I keep a dream journal in the form of manuscripts because I wake up with big long poems, <laughs> songs, um, and of course dreams are really weird. So, you know, I wake up with this weirdness, and actually I don't think I'd lose it. Like <laughs> um, it's true. I've kept a journal since I was about 18 years old. I'm 56 now, so it was a ve it's been for a very long time. I find that I live more fully because of my writing in my journal. Um, I, I do keep a dream journal. You do know. you usually type them up? Or I type them. There's a sweet little pony goes happily prancing, tripping through the sunlight's flowers, glitters, <laughs> glitters and dances, prances and sings like you, with me, off to sleep, sweet, prancy, skippily dancing, laughing like the flowers bright, chuckling in their petals in dreams. I am telling my story of, of escape to an interested listener. I struggled to express what I was feeling at the time. Am I an interested listener? You certainly are. <laughs> yes, I guess you're the, you, yeah, yeah, you're the interested listener, that's right. <laughs> exactly. I had rehearsal, and then I had to leave and be back in Illinois within 15 minutes. And I'm like, I have to go, I have rehearsal in my other studio, and the guy, dance teacher, was like, you are not leaving, you cannot. I'm like, well, I have rehearsal, you're staying in my class. So then I kept looking at the clock and I waited till class was over. And then I called my dance teacher and I'm like, sorry, I can't dance with you anymore because it's just not working out. So I'm gonna have to stay here. I wanna choose to stay here. And then randomly at the end, I found out that my 14 year old brother was in my dance class, like my level. And then that was it. And I woke up. There is a, a play called Six Hits and um, in it, a woman walks into a building and uh, encounters a traumatic event. For me, the dream image was just a woman walking down the street, but I saw her clearly. I saw what she was wearing um, and uh, what the sound of her feet, I heard like the sound of her feet on the sidewalk, and it was such a visceral image that when I woke up, I was like, oh, I have to write where she went. I have to, I have to find out where she went because that that beginning part was so good. This is the first version. This is of a dream. I tried to draw the dream and I failed. That looks like Chucky's wife. <laughs> That's gross. But then this is more what it looked like. Okay. <laughs> that intangible perfection a dream where I'm creating or trying to do what I do in life and in dreams touch upon or taste an infinite something that I wake up with, oh, if I could just remember and get on that, that's it, that was, that's the end, that's everything right there, and, you know, so that, that almost being a, a, a reverse of the actor's nightmare, the actor's sort of, or the creative, I've struck the gold, I've figured it out. My dreams tend to be the anxiety dreams the dreams where you're doing the same repetitive motion over and over and over again. Now normally I can find insight in this because you know you wake up and you go, okay, you were dreaming about Excel spreadsheets all night. Maybe you should finish the budget. Maybe that would help you to okay. relax at night. Okay. Um, Got it. <laughs> so emotionally it's a flip side, I guess. So what's the feeling when you wake up from a dream like that? Uh, you know, an overwhelming sense of, uh, and and anxiety, slight anxiety in uh, what was it? I gotta remember it. I gotta. I've woken up with a song in my head with lyrics and everything, mm -hmm. and then uh, thinking, oh, that's the Rolling Stones or somebody, and then going, oh no, that I made up in my dream, and and then thinking, oh my God, that's the best song ever. <laughs>